All right, sticking with the same method, uh, we're still going to find the unit rate. Um, and we've got six packs of gum are the equivalent to 72 pieces of gum. And I want to know how many packs would be 240 pieces. Uh, so it's set up a little bit differently, but it basically works the same. We still have to find a unit rate. Um, so let's take this 6 and 72, because I know that works well, because I know 6 goes into 72. Okay. So if we divide both of these by 6, this is going to be 1, and then 72 divided by 6 is going to be 12. So we're basically left with one pack of gum is 12 pieces. Okay. Now we need to figure out how many packs 240 pieces is going to be. And there's, you know, quite a few ways that we could probably uh, get this accomplished. Okay. Uh, one of the ways would be to make a chart. Okay. And once you see how this starts to work here, the chart's probably going to take a long time, but I want you to know that it's definitely an option if you can't figure out anything else. I mean, I, I want you to feel like you've got some options here, okay? So one pack of gum we already said was 12. Our goal is to get all the way down to 240 pieces, okay? So that would have to be down here somewhere. 240 pieces. So what we can do is we can just keep listing on our chart. 2 would be 24, 3 would be 36, 4 would be 48, uh, 5 would be 60. And we can just keep uh, going down on our chart like that and that would be just fine. Um, something that you could do to speed up the process a little bit is we figured out that Five of these was 60. So if we go with this ratio, we know that 5 is 60. That means that another 5 would be 10 packs of gum, and another 60 would be 120 packs of gum. We could do that. So now we're already a little bit further ahead in our chart. We just jumped up to 10 to 120 without filling anything into the middle, uh, because we know that this ratio is the same as anything else we've used. Okay, uh, We can do the same thing if you want to. Again, we can keep this 5 to 60. Okay, And I could just add another 5 onto this to make this 15. And then I can put another 60 onto this, which is going to be uh, what, 180. Okay? So now we have for every 15 packs, we have 180 pieces. Now, this is going to work out nicely because we know that our number that we're looking for uh, for pieces is going to be 240. And if I put another 60 onto this, another 60 onto the 180, I'm going to get up to 240. Uh, that means that if I keep this ratio that we did, we did the 5 to 60 as we saw on the chart, uh, I could do another 5 here would get us down to 20. And another 60 onto 180 is going to get us to 240. So our answer is going to be uh, 20 packs of gum is 240. That's going to be a good way to do it. Okay. So our answer is going to be 20. Now another thing you could do for this one is that I think will work well is if you know that every pack is 12 pieces and we have 240 pieces you can see how many 12s go into 240. Pretty simple, okay? And if we do 240 divided by 12, 240 divided by 12 is 20 packs of gum. So that's just another common sense thing you can use to help yourself figure these out. Uh, the one other thing I wanna show you, and I should have shown you in the other problems what this one is, if you have these ratios at the end, if you divide the ratios, they should come out to be the same thing. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, we started with six packs equals 72 pieces. Okay, so I'm just going to write this up in the corner six over 72. 
Okay. And then we ended up with 20 packs equals 240. For those to be the same thing, you should be able to do top divided by bottom or bottom divided by top. You have to do the same thing either way, uh, and it should come out to be the same thing. So let's try this and see what we get here. I'm just going to do 6 divided by 72. Okay, 6 packs, 72 pieces. So 6 divided by 72. We should get a pretty big decimal here. Yeah, we did. Okay, The decimal I got for this one right here is 0 0.083 repeating okay 083 repeating now I'm gonna do it with the other one do it with your 20 over 240 20 divide 240 and I get the same thing 0 0.083 that's usually a pretty good indicator uh, of whether you follow the correct ratios or not if you divide the two numbers out you get, and then you divide the other two numbers out you get, and they come out to be the same thing on a calculator, chances are you probably got it correct. 